I'm sure you guys know me and my name is Philip. you know. I stay at the arch with, with most of us, you know. You guys see me all the time talking about the Lord, you know. You know I love you all, but I also have a message for you from the, today from the Lord, and I also have my testimony as well. But first, I would like to start off by saying we are all here to learn obedience through the things we suffer. Just as our Lord Jesus Christ learned obedience through the things he suffered, we are no greater than him. And he knew we was all going to touch the stove. You know, but if we keep touching the stove until we die without asking for forgiveness, it is on us, you know. Satan desired to overpower and sit higher than the Almighty, and the Lord rebuked him here to the earth. Now he desires to have us with temporary desires. Drugs, he controls the music, sex, wants us to fall in love with money, lust to the eyes and lust to the flesh, and so was me. I was no different, you know. And we all born this sinful nature through Adam. You guys heard of Adam before, right? Adam was the first man born of the dust from the earth, and as it is written, just as through one man's sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men because all sin. But instead of killing us, for the wages of sin is of death. But as it is written, God demonstrates his own love towards us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. If we can repent and get baptized in the name of the Lord, receive the Spirit, and live, you know, for it is written, one died for all, then all died. And he died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. And as I grew up in this world, you know, I, I was puffing myself up on the music that, and the temptations that the devil puts out there for us. Money, music, you know, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, the, the tools I explained to you that the devil has to trick us with, you know, to try to tempt us with, you know. Well, all of these highs are all temporary highs, and they're exact opposite of what the Father has for you in the end in the first place, you know? But we do them, it goes away, and we want to keep chasing this high and keep chasing this, this wicked desire, you know? But we cannot take with us in the first place, you know? But as the Lord says, let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. And then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. So I was tempted too. I listened to the music. You know, I grew up thinking that people on TV was cool, talking about selling drugs and, you know, doing all of these things. You know, so I, I grew up doing these things, and I found myself getting disciplined. For who the Lord loves, he disciplines and chastens. If he does not discipline and chasten us, which we are all partakers of this, and we are illegitimate, not sons and daughters. We ought to learn from it, though. So I found myself in jail, being in situations I don't want to be in, being broke, you know. And all of these things happen to us because the Father wants us to come back to him and let us know that we cannot do it our way. For the Lord says, there is a way that seems right to a man, but is in is the way of death. So all of these things went on in my life, and I continued in them, continued running away from the Lord, even though I knew he was always there, trying to do it the wicked way, the quick way, the fast way, selling drugs instead of working with my hands trying to have sex with multiple girls and stuff like that instead of waiting for marriage. And all of this time, I found myself getting disciplined, you know, being broke, jail, situations I just explained from running away from the Lord, you know. So one day, something miraculous happened, though. I was hanging, you know, I, I, I ended up hanging with some bad crowds, you know, some millionaires who, who also did drugs all the time and did a lot of bad stuff that we shouldn't have been doing, you know. And all of these things, you know, they was always around me, you know, and I did not know, you know. So I was doing drugs, and something miraculous happened. I found myself getting disciplined again one day, being broke, being addicted to drugs, and I finally stopped running away from the Lord. And I, and I dropped on my knees and cried out to the Lord, and I asked for forgiveness from the Lord. And something miraculous happened. I received the Holy Spirit, and then something miraculous happened after that. A lot of people tried to kill me, millionaires I used to hang with. Even my own blood sister, who I stayed in the house with for years and years and years and years. But the Lord Jesus Christ delivered me from all of them and taught me much about them. And also taught me, you know, much about the words that I'm able to speak today, you know. And I will tell you, he loves us all, you know. And we all have a chance to be forgiven. We can just ask for forgiveness. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are saved. But if we die in our sins without asking for forgiveness... You know, and giving ourselves to the Lord, it's our fault. You know, for the Lord put it on us all of our life to hear about, you know, he is the way, the truth, and the life, and he is the way for forgiveness. If we refuse salvation, it is on us. And as the Lord says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. 
For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh, will the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the spirit, will the spirit reap everlasting life. For what you sow is not made alive until this body dies. As in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. As we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. It is the point of for men to die once, but after this the judgment. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. And we cannot say, Oh Lord, we are homeless. For even so we are homeless, even so our Lord Jesus Christ was homeless. For as it is written, we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Even so we are homeless, even so the Lord was homeless. Or does not the Lord say, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. We do not have an excuse, God. No, we are, and we are in our last days, and we cannot get this time back. But it's the time appointed for you to live, and it's the time appointed for you to die. And if we die in our sins, it is on us. The wages of sin is death, eternal condemnation. You know, there are not two right ways and two wrong ways. We cannot live for the Lord and live for the devil. And as the Lord says, we cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and of the cup of demons. We cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of demons. Or do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? Or does not the Lord say, I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. It's one or the other, and there's no in-between with the Lord. It's either we are living for the Lord or we are living for Satan, who rules this earth for a short time. So it is up to us to choose, and he is waiting for us all to come back home. And he's got some for us that we can endure. But does not the Lord say, if we die with him, we shall also live with him. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. We all have been given an invitation. We well, all are rich in faith in Jesus Christ. He doesn't want you to be amazed by these man-made things, cars that moth and rust and destroy, and buildings that decay as well. For all of the earth and the works in it will be burnt with fire. God is not mocked, but God is not slacking his promise, as some count slackness. But he is long-suffering, wishing that none of us perish, but that we all come into repentance. And as the Lord says, when the whirlwind passes by, the wicked is no more, but the righteous has an everlasting foundation. Take away the wicked from before the king and his throne will be established in righteousness. There will be a new earth and a new heaven, and it will not moth and rust and destroy as cars do, and it will not decay as these buildings. And as the Lord says, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But we can look at his footstool, which is earth, and know and see his creations, not the man-made things. Don't be amazed by the man-made things, but be amazed by his creation, the way the sun comes up perfect in the clouds. And then everything is so perfect, such as your body, when it has a sore and it heals up. But this is his footstool. And the Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the depths were broken up, and clouds dropped down to dew. And we all are rich in kings and queens and priests and blood in Jesus Christ, you know? So we must come back to the Lord, I urge you guys. But we cannot get this time back, and we are in our last days. Well, each one of our last days, we do not know. And there's a time appointed for us to live, and it's a time appointed for us to die. Whether I get hit by a bullet right now, accident, step out, get hit by a car, that is my time. And we cannot get this time back. But I appreciate you guys' time. You guys remember Jesus loves you, and I love you guys too. You guys have a blessed day.